Evening guys, welcome to another devotional. Today we are going to be in Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 and 7, which says, Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he has done. Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. We've all been in those situations when something happens, you hear news about something, something occurs right in front of your eyes, and all of a sudden you're drawn to either worry or anger or some other response that you know I'm going to be acting out in some form of what on earth is happening, I need to try and take control here. And that's what Paul is talking about here in Philippians, where it can be traffic, it can be an annoying person, it can be a situation that you hear about in the news, something that will drive us to worry or anger or anything like that. But the Lord, through Paul, is encouraging us to, instead of worrying about it, instead of acting out in the emotional response of, what am I going to do? Instead, saying, go to the Lord in prayer. Instead of worrying about anything, any one thing, instead about everything, pray. So instead of worrying about it, instead of getting angry and frustrated about it, instead, run to the Lord with it. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he has done. Then you will experience God's peace. It's a very simple thing, but it's not always the easiest thing to do in the midst of the situation because in the midst of the situation, we just want to act out in anger. We want to act out in worry. We want to do something. But the Lord's calling us to, in that action, to instead of doing something in ourselves, to do something to him. To say, Lord, I need you because I know I can't do this myself. So when something happens and we find ourselves starting to worry, lift it up to God. When something happens and we find ourselves starting to get angry, lift it up to God. And when we lift up these situations, we're encouraged to do it with a thankful heart, asking God, for what we need, and thanking him for all he has done. And as we do this, God will fill us with his peace. A peace to know that he is in control, to know that, hang on a minute, I'm not going to try and deal with this situation in my worry. I'm not going to try and deal with this situation in my anger. I'm not going to try and deal with this situation in any of the emotional responses that are just urging me to do something myself, but instead saying, Lord, I'm leaving this in your hands to ask him for what we need, and to thank him for all he has done, to give it to him saying, I trust you with this. And he will give us the peace in him, the peace that passes any understanding. And that peace will guard our hearts and minds as we live in Christ, as we continue living in Christ, as we continue lifting things up to him, his peace will guard us from worry, from anger, from all those different things that can cause us to want to do something. Instead, us doing something is us praying about it, us going to the Lord with that thing. And he will guard us then in that as we live in Christ, because we can have our peace in him in the midst of those troubling circumstances, in the midst of those troubling people, in the midst of whatever it is that is going on. So I want to encourage uh, each and every one of us with that tonight. God bless you guys.